not accurately live until your life mirrors what God is trying to do. There are many men that lived upon the face of the earth. Heaven is not aware. When you get born again, you are inducted into the government of God. God is obsessed with order and government because it is in such an environment that he can ferry down and accomplish his purposes. God is not too interested in blessing you. He is interested in achieving his purpose. Your blessing becomes something of what? When it becomes attached to the purpose that God is carrying in his heart. Such a man becomes implicated in God's agenda. In fact, there is a way you become a vessel, a conduit of God's achievement. Eh? You will stop praying for many things. The jealousy of God will be upon your life. Because when heaven looks upon you, you are an answered prayer. I say a man can be the answer to the prayer of heaven. When heaven prayed, eh? when they came on earth, perfect became the answer. Such a man has the jealousy of God upon his life. What ought you to do? And what is prayer? If you understand that there is nothing you are saying in prayer that is an information for God. For Bible said, God knoweth what we want to pray for before we ever pray. Then what is prayer? It must be that we need to align with the throne. And then the government of God comes upon our hearts. The thing to be ferry from that realm to this realm is the effulgence of the purposes that is in the heart of God. And we become little gods because we have captured within our heart, within our context, the purpose that is in the heart of God. Such a man don't need to pray and not have result. It is, it is such men that the Bible said that he has not called the seed of Jacob to what? Seek him in vain. I can't come for 50 days and go the same. That's why when we come, we angulate our heart. Find God. The one that sits in the circles of the earth. When you find him, you are no more small. Huh? I said the world can rotate around your life if you can find God. Your family cannot move forward until you appear on the scene because you are the one that is carrying the capacity to cause a change in the spirit. You will become a, a conduit, a ferry of God's purposes. So if God needed to release resources, if you are not there, it will not work. That's what they told Jesus. If you are here, Lazarus will not have died. That's a testimony of a man that have the capacity to cause change. That's why we pray. We pray to the point that we become God carriers. So when God wants to answer a prayer for a family, they will call you. Where are you? They say, I need you there. Men become answers. That's the purpose of priesthood. So when you appear once again, the desire of heaven is achieved because you are there. Huh? God will say, I have a man. I have a man. Find me. Find me. Find me in these 50 days. Find me. Find me. Make me. Find me. Find me. Make me. Empower me. Send me. <laughs> Find me. Make me. Empower me. Send me. Find me, oh God. Find me. Find me. In the woods, find me. Because when David was tending the sheep, he never knew that the eyes of God was upon him. They were doing divine selection in heaven. He was tending sheep. They elected him to be the king of Israel. Find me. I cannot be hidden. It's only men that you can hide from. But when you give yourself to priesthood, priesthood is never hidden in the spirit. Priesthood can be hidden in the natural, but in the spirit, Priesthood is loud and clear. You cannot speak bigger than the voice of your altar. Listen to me. Brothers and sisters, I have a body. <laughs> is the hand of the Lord short, sir? It must mean that there is a place that God is trying to get us to. It must mean that there is a required quota we have not been able to meet. Let every man be a lawyer and let God be the only truthful one. Until that, that revelation hits your heart, you will not pay the price it takes. You will th continue thinking you are doing well, that this one is supposed to, I, you are a liar. That if Bible is true, you lied. The Bible is true and will continue to be true. You need to find God and pay the price. 
and then the hand of God will come. Come so strong. Come so strong that in one year you will forget that there is a time you used to suffer. Huh? Yes. The day we break forth and the night we fade away. And men will look at you and say that you are, you are, you are Hebzibah. You are the blessed of God. You are Rehobot. But they didn't know when you are awake in the night and you said, oh God, will you find me again? Make me a conduit. You burn the night candles. In the day you don't eat. Your challenge is that I want to find a resting place for the God of Jacob. I want to be a priest unto my family. I want to be a man of the altar. Give me grace. Find me again in this generation. Find a man in me. I submit. I yield. Oh, akatima ba varati kaparante apapata kaparia. I'm not going anywhere. No, no, no. I stay. I tarry. Give me grace to be consistent. Give me grace to be disciplined. Give me grace to be principled. I stay until you come. Tabara, Mante Korea, Barakatabara, Mante Capampeletoria, Sakapatabama, Ampete, fine, fine, Ante Kaira, Papa Barata, Papa Barata, Papa Barata, Apepe Kriakatapantele, Yakapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap
The implication of that is that how they do things will be different from your own. The things you think are big, they will de-emphasize it. The things you think are small, they will take it up. Where you are stopping in prayer is where they are starting. Because they check the archives of God in the spirit. And they saw, even though the things that we call prayer point has happened, that God has not even started working. And as long as God has a project in his heart, they will keep praying. What's your motivation? We need to find the heavenly way again. And when we find it, we notice that, that in the heavenly way, at the apex of the heavenly way, is a man sitting there. And his name is Jesus Christ. And the Bible said that up to now, he is a mediator. Satan a mediator. Bible began to open up to us the ministries of the heavenly Christ. The heavenly ministry of the Christ. And one of them is intercession, prayer. If the purposes of God will, will come to pass, the Bible said that our high priest is priesthood. Priesthood is eternally tied to the purpose of God because that is what it takes. Not just to bring the purpose of God here, but to sustain it. Are you getting the point? Are you getting the point? The man that actually rules is the man that has the priesthood. I'm saying you can sit in a position, but the ruler is the one that has priesthood. Not the one that has the position. Are you with me? Are you with me? The men that rule our cities, they are not in the cities, they are in the villages. They are in the woods. That's why. You see. Some of the people that come to churches. Businessmen and politicians. They come and they come. Some pastors carry big share and give them. Be doing the, Those people if they go and meet. Real herbalists in the shrine. They will tell them. Remove your shoe. Remove, remove your trousers. Remove. Some of them, they told them, remove everything. They'll be naked and walking like this. Man, big man. And we say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, the same man will come in the church and want to knock pastor on the head. Do you know why? No priesthood. No priesthood. No priesthood. I say some of them are not elderly. Young people. But you don't look at people by their age or by their size. You look at what that man can command per moment. Most important things about